Hi there. This is Pastor Don, and this is uh, Thursday, January the 28th. And this is our uh, continuation of our scripture readings for the day. And uh, I want to welcome those of you who are finding us for the first time, either on Facebook or YouTube. It's a pleasure to have you join us. We do this each day, uh, most every day, and um, we welcome your presence with us. Today, I want to uh, deal with a topic that uh, all of us are affected by, and all of us uh, need a reminder about how to respond when we are affected by, by this. And the topic is, uh, what do you do when others sin against you? I want to read to you from Colossians today in the third chapter, verses 12 through 14. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you. So you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Sounds like a pretty tall order, doesn't it, to uh, forgive those who uh, trespass against you, sin against you? Do you have the capacity to exhibit compassion and kindness and humility and meekness and patience in every situation? Well, I can tell you I don't. But uh, this is the standard by which we are to judge each other and ourselves, and hopefully uh, strive to attain the capacity to uh, exhibit each of, of these virtues. You know, the overriding um, panacea for all that affects us, all that troubles our society, it's simple. It sounds almost cliche-ish to say this, but love, it's love. How is it that we can summon up the ability to express love for all people? Well, I think it's important, first of all, that we understand what love is. What, what is the definition of love from a scriptural point of view? Well, it's that familiar word, or maybe not so familiar, agape. Agape love. Agape love simply means that we wish the best for everyone. Now, when we put it in those terms, maybe it isn't quite so difficult. Maybe we have the capacity to wish the best for everyone, regardless of how difficult the circumstances might be in our relationship. So um, let's try to keep this in mind, that we need to apply agape love against all situations for which we have been aggrieved and for which we might hold a grudge against somebody else. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you that you have forgiven us in all of our sinfulness. We thank you, Lord, that you remind us that it is our call to strive to exhibit agape love for all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we thank you again that we have scripture to guide us that transcends all other uh, guidance in our lives. Help us, Almighty God, to turn to your holy word more than we do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we continue to be apprehensive about this COVID-19 virus. The death toll continues to mount and the spread continues to rise. Yet, we also see that the availability of the vaccine is growing, even if it is problematic at this point. We know that first and foremost, the vaccine exists, and secondly, it's a matter of logistics to get it distributed to everyone. So, Lord, we ask for your patience. We ask for your protection while we wait. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we ask that you would be with those medical workers who have worked so hard and, and, and so strenuously and diligently for so long 
continue, Lord, to build them up. Also, Lord, we ask that you would be with all of the first responders out there who don't have any choice but to interact with the public in emergency situations. And we also, Lord, ask for your protection and your blessings upon those who serve us in all capacities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask that you would uh, protect us this day. Bless us and help us to feel your presence. Help us to feel your agape love. In Jesus' name we pray. Thanks for spending a moment with me. I hope that your day is going well. I hope your week is going well and that you will be hopeful and patient that you soon will receive the COVID-19 virus. Until we meet again tomorrow, this is Pastor Don saying God bless.